Now let's move on to the next permutation. Only difference here is that CR4.PSE for page size extensions is set to one. And therefore, if the operating system wants, it can use four megabyte pages at a depth of one instead of four kilobyte pages at a depth of two. So let's see how that works. So we start in the same sort of idea as before, 32-bit linear address space, 10-bit index at the beginning, and the CR3 is going to point at the base of, you know, this table one, this page directory. And the entry is then going to only use 10 bits instead of 20 bits like it used last time. So that means that the most significant 10 bits are going to be used as part of a physical address of the next four megabyte page where the bottom 22 bits are all assumed to be zero. That leaves 22 bits for flags and stuff, just like there were 12 bits available in four kilobyte paging. So again, that most significant 10 bits is going to point at a four megabyte page. All right, so basically this entry, now we've got this table depth of one. We just skipped directly from a page directory, which I need to update that to say page directory. We skipped directly from a page directory and instead of going through another 10-bit intermediate index, we instead are going to just agglomerate all of that and say a 22-bit index into this two to the 22, four megabyte size giant page and then we immediately find the bytes that we're looking for. So that's a you know, much simpler transition to find a large chunk of memory. And that's what this Intel diagram was basically trying to say. You've got CR3 pointing at a page directory, 10 bits used to find a page directory entry, and then only 10 bits from within that page directory are used as the most significant bits of the large four megabyte page and then 22 bits are used to offset in for any given byte inside of that page. Now this was what the 2008 manual when I first made this class had. And if we look at that in the newest manual, instead of seeing 10 bits here, you see 18 bits. You still see 22 bit index, but you see 18 bits. And so if we add those two together, Previously, it was 22 and 10, so it was a 32-bit physical address space that we were accessing. And now it's 18 and 22, so it's a 40-bit physical address space that this accesses.